We're here today at the corner of Columbia and Kiefer, Heart of Chinatown for Remembrance Day. And while the city's signature celebration for November 11th takes place a few blocks away at Victory Square, today we're marking the all-important Chinatown Remembrance Day ceremony. This is an opportunity to reflect that Canada is not just made up of one or two ethnic groups, but we are a, a large multicultural community and everyone has the opportunity to serve in, and give back to Canada and uh, recognize that contribution in the past. This monument serves as a testament to the commitment, love and sacrifices of those pioneers for which all of us of Chinese heritage give a very Heartfelt thank you. In World War II, many of the Chinese Canadians, even then, were not full citizens of Canada. And we had to actually want to get into the fight to be a part of the Canadian Armed Forces to earn our right to be citizens. And so many of the young youth in Chinatown say, I want to come and serve. And so they did, and they volunteered before they was conscripted. And then when they came home after the war, they petitioned to government and said, look, we want to be uh, full citizens. We can die and fight for Canada. Why cannot we be given the franchise? It has come full circle with the Chinese Canadian community participating in all things that are Canadian. And it reminds me, basically, of what uh, Prime Minister John Diefenbaker said back in 1961. There should be no such thing as hyphenated Canadians, because after all, we are all Canadians. Well, there you have it. Remembering the all-important Chinese contribution to Canada on Remembrance Day, it's Jordan Wade for City Lights on Novus TV.